Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading here to take a look at some things that we can do to fully step into our personal power in our lives. Personal power is that very gentle place inside yourself that just really knows um, that there's nothing life can bring your way that you can't handle. And this is something that all of us need to be in touch with because it's part of what makes it possible for us to be peaceful in the world and peaceful in our lives. So the first card I'm pulling is the Ten of Air, Repetition. The second card is Major 18, Intuition. The third card is Achiever of Air, Learning. And the fourth card is Major 9, Solitude. So in relating this to personal power, one of the things that's important to do is first of all, give yourself permission to repeat what truly works for you in your life. This isn't repetition just for the sake of familiarity. This is if you found a way to be in some aspect of your life that really works, it doesn't make negative repercussions that you have to clean up later, then keep repeating that. It's part of your ability to succeed in life. Repetition also asks us to take a look at the places where we're using repetition to undermine ourselves where we're repeating something just because it's familiar and comfortable, but it's not productive anymore. Evaluate that, and in those areas, let go of the repetition and do something new. Another foundation of personal power for all of us, regardless of how in touch we are with our intuition or not, is our intuition. We humans are intuitive beings. We sense things. We know when we're safe. We know when we're in danger. We know when something new is on the horizon. We know when to get excited. Use your intuition. Become familiar with it. Allow that to become a trusted source of guidance for you from within you so that you're relying on yourself more and on other people less. Another foundation of personal power is learning. Be open to new information. All of us have lots of experiences that we can learn, lean back into to tell us how to do something that's coming up in the future. All of us also encounter experiences we've never had before and need to give ourselves permission to understand those new experiences and gather information from people who've had them already. So be open to learning new things. Another foundation of personal power is solitude. Solitude isn't isolation. This is that place where you choose to go be by yourself so that you can remember who you are in a world that often takes us into all kinds of directions that have nothing to do with who we are. We're just responding, reacting to the moment. So go into your solitude on a regular basis, remember who you are, remember your wisdom, and then come back out into the world. Now I want to do a little bit of clarifying about the difficult side of the repetition card here because this is something that a lot of us can get caught in. It's just automatic. Um, so I'm going to take a look at the things that you are most likely to be repeating in your life that are actually not serving your well-being anymore. And for that, I'm going to pull two cards here. The first one is simplicity. It's major zero. And what this tells me is that many, many times we're trying to go back to the simplest form of doing or understanding and as we move through life, that simplest form a lot of times doesn't work anymore because we've added layers and layers of complication. So if you want to bring simplicity into your life again, bring simplicity in 
by removing the layers of complication you've added, rather than by trying to go back to where you were before you added those layers. Another type of repetition that's causing problems for some of us is we're trying to hold stability in a way that keeps us away from flexibility. Stability can become a very rigid type of of being in the world. It can become, I eat this because this is what I eat. I live in this place and I'd never consider living anyplace else because this is what works. Some of those things are really beneficial, but sometimes the concreteness of our foundations actually becomes things that keep our feet from moving through life. So take a look at where you're recreating types of stability that don't work for you anymore and let go of those. As you journey fully into your personal power, you'll notice that some things change for you. And one of those things that changes is that your sense of stability and security will begin coming from inside instead of from the way you've arranged life on the outside. Enjoy the journey. Thank mm-hmm. you.